kids, you know what? It's worth it. It's so worth it. And if you want somebody to donate blood for you, then donate blood for somebody else. The Young Blood for Life Challenge is a high school challenge that encourages high school students to come into the clinic and donate blood. It is a national challenge, so high schools across the country are competing to see which high school can donate the most units of blood. We just got our friends to donate and then, then they get their friends and family to join and yeah, it's going pretty well so far. From each high school, we have a youth development coordinator who works in the high school with their fellow classmates and encourages them to come into the clinic and donate blood. They have a standing group appointment, so four uh, donors come in every week to donate on behalf of their school. And at the end of the challenge, we'll tally all the units donated and then give a prize to the school in Prince George that donates the most units, the school in BC that donates the most units, and then the school in Canada that donates the most units. I've always wanted to donate blood and when I turned 17 I've just been coming ever since because it's something I've always wanted to do. I think it's a really cool concept of saving lives and letting people have a chance like if you have the blood you can give the chance back. You can save lives each time you donate you can save up to three lives so it, it's really important just to like get the awareness out and get people to help donate. Well, the challenge has started already, and it goes until May 31st, 2012. It is a pretty long challenge, but the reason for that is because statistics say that if a donor comes in three times, we have them hooked for life. So a high school student can donate possibly three times in the course of that challenge. So we want to get them in and then get them hooked. We close with a short message from Dutchess Park Secondary to all the other high schools. Bring it on. <laughs>